<laughs> so cute. You have a very sweet name. Therapy, eh? Yes. Just having other dogs and holding them. Alright, um, it's been a lot of emotion on this channel lately, and frankly, there will probably be a lot of emotion to come. So I want to take a little bit of a break from that, and I'm really hoping this can be like an uplifting, fun, happy break from the tears and sadness. I know this has been a lot for everybody to process and to come to terms with, and of course it has been for me as well. I honestly don't think I'm ever going to get over it. I don't think I will ever like fully heal from this. Like I think that's just a part of grief. It, it is forever. It but it gets sense. easier. Yeah. It doesn't hurt as bad forever. If you're going through a rough time in life, as the Burke family is, um, just know that this will pass and that this is not the rest of your life. This is this moment in your life. And that is what I'm reminding myself of every single day this year, especially these last few months, which have been particularly awful. It's funny, I was telling one of the trainers everything we've gone through as a family this year. He was like, all within a year? And I was like, oh no, 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 all within like the last like five months. And he was like, oh my God. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's been a lot. But hopefully this video we can focus on one of the most fun parts of guide dog training, which is picking your dog, getting to trial all the different dogs. And again, as I always say, I know this is not standard. This is a very Mira specific thing. Most guide dog schools do pre-match. Some one and done. They have one option for you. That is it. Doesn't work too bad. Some schools will have one or two backups if it doesn't work, but you don't get to meet those backups unless it's not working. Mira, as you saw last time, you get to try as many dogs as you want and you get to switch dogs if you want and that's my favorite part about coming here and I think something that would make it really hard to switch schools would be not having a, a say in which dog I get because here at Mira they really believe that the emotional connection that the dog and the human make is just as important as the walking speed, the temperament, the environment you live in, where this dog will need to be working, all of those aspects. So. I really appreciate that. And I think this time more than ever, the emotional connection was extremely important and they knew that. So overall, um, starting out this training, they had 18 dogs total, though two of those dogs were already spoken for. The other two girls in my class, because they came earlier than I did, already had their guide dogs. And so there was 16 for me to pull from. And I tried seven. The trainers told me all seven of them could theoretically work for me. Some would have more issues than others. Some would have more challenging parts that we'd have to work on than others, given my specific lifestyle. But if I really connected with one of them and really wanted one of them, any of them could work. So I went into it with lots of options, which frankly felt really good because I'm grieving. I'm mourning the loss of my dog and it is really hard to simultaneously be grieving the loss of your best friend while trying to find a new one and I'll never replace Ben. This isn't about replacing Ben. This is about finding the next chapter, the fresh start and I needed it to feel like a fresh start and the trainers said that generally what they see often is if a team had a really positive experience, everything ended well, it was like overall a great team, the person often wants as close to that last dog as possible. But if the person lost their dog in a traumatic way or had a traumatic ending to the career, as this was for me, um, they usually want a dog that is nothing like their last dog. Now, when I came in the fall, they really only had mostly all black Labernese. That was the majority of what they had. This time they had it all. They had tons of different options, tons of different dogs. Um, all of the dogs were around two years old, a little younger, a little older, um, but they realized pretty quickly I was gonna need a long haired dog. It's funny because I've always wanted that and never gotten it. And this was the first time I came into this with no 
wants or wishes. And it, I wasn't just saying that truly. I didn't like, I had no, did I, I just like, yeah. yeah. Cause honestly yeah, I didn't, I didn't want a new dog. I didn't. So I was blank. Like I had, I didn't want a boy or a girl. I didn't want a Labernese or a Bernese mountain dog or St. Pierre. Like I just didn't want another dog. So I had no preference. I had no specific wish list. I feel like having a wish list is something you have when you're excited about something. And just honestly, I wasn't excited. And I think it's possible to be grateful for something while not wanting it to be a reality. And that was, that was where I was at. So yeah, I had no wants or wishes. So it's funny that the time I came completely blank slate is when I most likely will end up with a long haired dog. Um, like I said, I worked seven dogs, six of them were long haired, a uh, mix of long haired Labernese and St. Pierre's. And I tried one short haired Labernese. So this is very confusing. I will try to explain it to the best of my abilities. The trainers were like, Molly, it's confusing for us. So basically, Labernese's can be long haired or short haired. I've just always happened to have short haired. To be a St. Pierre, it has to be long haired and black and white, but it has to have the black and white face, chest and feet. So if a long haired dog is mostly black, all black or not black at all, it is not a St. Pierre. It is a long haired Labernese. I hope that makes sense. So the dogs I tried were mostly St. Pierre's long haired Labernese and one short haired Labernese. Right after I said my goodbyes to Ben, they wanted to distract me because they knew I could either cry alone in my room or I could have puppy therapy and play with cute dogs. So their initial goal was just to get me distracted, get me playing with dogs, get me feeling the love and the hopefulness and seeing that there was so many beautiful dogs that I could pick from. And when I say beautiful, I don't just mean aesthetically. I mean like just beautiful hearts. There was so many dogs ready and wanting a new home. And that is what we did. By the way, I'm sorry if you're like seeing, I'm playing with my fidget toy because I'm just, you know, I've got a lot going on. So it's helping me. <laughs> yeah, so that was the initial goal. Just like last year, I'm not gonna reveal the names. I will do a name reveal for all the dogs I tried and for the one I end up with later on in this series. But if you just can't wait, you can always go over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash mollyburke. All the inside deets and updates are posted over there early. They they first just pulled out two long haired dogs for me to play with. I wasn't working them. They were just like, look Molly, cute dogs, cute dogs, play with them, touch them. So they were bouncing around and I had one in each leash and they were like, <laughs> like being all cute. I stopped crying. So that was goal number one, that was good. Then they pulled out option A which option A was the one short haired dog I tried. Apparently he was, he was the size of Ben and his face looked like Ben, but he had Gallup's white chest and Gallup's white back feet. And I did one kennel walk with him and I did one street walk with him where I got to go around the town and do, you know, like curbs and that kind of stuff. But both times I walked with him, I just cried. So they were like, yep, okay, as we suspected, Molly needs a long haired dog. She will not be able to cope um, because when you're trying to grieve the loss of a dog and then you're working with one that physically, when you touch it, feels like your last dog, but has a different personality, has a different working style. It is very, it makes the transitional process more difficult. They saw from the tears that that was probably going to not be good. And because all seven of these dogs were great options for me, there was just no need to push a dog that was going to remind, you remind me of Ben and make it more difficult for us to bond and for me to heal. Option A, I can tell you, I don't, it's not gonna be the one. Obviously, I love like the mushy cheeks like Ben had. And like, yeah, he was a great worker, um, it was a male. But yeah, I do think emotionally it wasn't the right choice. How was that? I love her name. <laughs> so cute. You. you have a very sweet name. Therapy, eh? Yeah. Just having other dogs and holding them. Yeah. So this one makes me a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> this one what? Makes me a little bit more sad. Yeah, because she needs more, eh? Because she feels like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have a little, uh, little white on the white, white, white spot, yeah. yeah, down on the bottom. Uh, like on the chest. Liked me. You always liked me. <laughs> That's how I knew you would come to say hi. 
Yeah. Option B was absolutely stunning, was one of the three dogs from the group of 18 that were in training this year that they would pull for photo shoots for like fundraising materials and stuff. Where are you? She's very soft. Well, she seems like but she has the big balls. Jumping feet. Jumping hoops. The birdies about the dog. She's like, I know. I know my job. I know. My GoFundMe is always active, fundraising for Mira. This place is like a home to me. These people are like family to me. They've been in my life for 15 years. They have supported me through and through, time and time again. It is such an incredible place and I just always want to give back as much as I can. And if you would like to support them as a thank you for supporting people like me and my other classmates, for providing life-changing dogs, um, and doing it so quickly, like, it's amazing. So if you'd like to support them, that GoFundMe is linked down below. And as always, all of the dog-related merch in my merch shop, which is also linked below, fanjoy.co slash mollyburke, 100% of the sales of those pieces get donated to Mira. And by the way, we will be seeing Gigi and getting Gigi updates later on in this series, which I'm super excited about and I hope you guys are as well. We're fundraising for dog number two. We're pretty close to be honest, so um, if you can find it in your heart and this inspires you to give, absolutely do so. Two options, the merch or the GoFundMe down below. But yeah, she was one of their, she's one of their fundraising dogs. She looks like Gypsy, but is long haired. So she is a St. Pierre. Some St. Pierre's come out more perfect than others. You know, like some of them have really full white markings. Where some of them, they just have little, like a thin line or a little blob on the nose. Like they're still obviously adorable. Every dog is adorable. They're dogs, they're all cute. But some come out a little more perfect than others. And she, chef's kiss. She was baked well. She was beautiful. She was a very fast walker, which I didn't mind. She very much reminded me of Gypsy in her speed. Like she's a very quick dog, definitely quicker than Ben, quicker than Gallop, more like Gypsy speed, which when I got Gypsy, I had a lot more remaining sight. I lost most of my vision after I got Gypsy. And I will admit that when I had more sight, I did walk faster. Uh, I think that's pretty common. As you lose sight, you walk a little more slowly. Like you've got to pay more attention because you see less. So even though I enjoy the experience of walking quickly with her and it felt really fun and freeing and like a rush, I knew it wouldn't be right for me in my everyday life. And for me, we all felt that although I could work her really well, my lifestyle wasn't conducive to the lifestyle that she required. So she was also an easy no. We only did one walk with her, or actually we did two. We did an inside walk and an outside walk around the kennel. Option C reminds me of Gallup or Guzman. Not at all in anything other than personality. It is a female St. Pierre. So she is long haired, uh, white spots, but kind of, you'll see if we, I don't know if we got footage of her, did we? I think we did. Yeah. We tried to get footage of all the dogs, but I'm sorry if we didn't. She is like, you'll see like more imperfect. Like she doesn't have as flawless white spots, but again, still absolutely adorable. She is teeny, teeny, tiny. So in that way, she's opposite of Gallup. Gallup is one of the biggest Mira dogs I've seen. Option C, the by far the smallest Mira dog I've ever felt. She was super cute, super sweet, really consistent worker. I did two city walks with her. Super consistent speed. They felt like she could be a top dog for me. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Yeah, she was a super consistent worker. Not much else to say. Could be a little, like a hair slow, just a hair. But I honestly, I told them I would put up with a slower paced dog that has the right personality match and the right temperament for my lifestyle, which requires a dog that of course is very good in the city environment because in both places that I live, it, I live downtown in the city. And also I travel a lot, so they need to just be good with like loud environments, busy environments, change, lots of new places. So I said, I'll take a slower, more calm dog 
that works for my lifestyle over a faster dog that doesn't work for my lifestyle. So even though she was maybe a hair slow walking speed for me, I think she would still work really well because her temperament, like just like Gallup, unshakable, so steady, so calm. So we'll see. Trying another doggy. This one's from the designer breed. Are you designer lady? She's lovely. She looks more petite. Am I right? She is. She's very petite. She's very petite. She's very petite. She's a lady. little uh, fashion girl. She's so little and Her ears are tiny. She's tiny. Goodness. She's like a little handbag. She's like, oh, I feel like everyone's admiring me right now. <laughs> this is kind of nice. She's so small. You're so little. Oh. oh, stop. Oh, stop. <laughs> Option D. Oof. He's a stunner. He is. Okay, so just like option B is one of the dogs they pulled for photos. In fact, this dog, who is a male, had an entire calendar to himself. They joked that he has well overpaid for himself with all the fundraising he has been a part of. He is a long-haired Labernese. He has all the white spots of Gypsy, but where Gypsy was black, he is ginger. All over ginger. The ginger eyebrows of a Bernese Mountain Dog, but his entire body. Oh my god, just incredible. And I got to do a lot of work with him, so who knows? We'll see. You know if I get him, I am dyeing my hair ginger. Absolutely, hands down, no doubt. I will dye my hair to match that dog. I have to, if I get him. Again, I don't know, we'll see. He is a good speed, really sweet, Good worker. I got to work him in the kennel, outside of the kennel, did a city walk with him, brought him into the dorm room for a bit. So I spent a lot of time with him. I mean, it's obviously not about this, but he would definitely be good for social media. He would be very fun. He would be very photogenic. Um, but just like I said last time, that's not the reason to pick the dog. So that is like the lowest on the list, but yeah, they were they were joking. They're like, he would be good for your job. That's for sure. He would be a head turner. <laughs> uh, he would make for a beautiful dog in a commercial, in photos, like doing anything that I would do. So, but obviously again, like it's there's so much that goes into the right match. So he's definitely top for me, but there's still more to be decided. So that's that. Um, by the way, this was over the course of two days, um, or. Three days? Three days. This was over the course of three days. One afternoon, one full day, one morning. It was one afternoon and then two full days of trying all the seven dogs in different environments. And I do also want to like reiterate that this is not something that just I get to do. This is something that everybody who comes to Mira gets to do. For example, the other two girls that are in training with me both took one dog back to the kennel or back to the dorms and then a few days later both switched to a different dog and brought that dog back to the dorms um and both tried many different dogs one said she tried like 15. so this is not like a molly thing this is everybody who comes to mira gets to do this it's the mira experience it's super special and i think it's why like everybody that comes to mira loves it um because it's just fun and you have by the end of it you have no question you have no question is this the right dog for me you're like yeah this is the right dog for me. So yeah, that was option D, a stunner. Ooh, it would be fun if I got him. Okay. Okay. Asi. 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 <laughs> That's the best one. Also mine. <laughs> I never. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Option E, option E is the third dog from the 18 that were in training that they pulled. So I got to try all three of their beautiful photogenic dogs. Option E, uh, like option B and 
D um, were kind of like the three top dogs that they would pull for photo shoots because apparently they're all very beautiful. Again, all dogs are cute. Some are just like a little more photogenic than others too. So option E is really beautiful. He is male, long haired Labernese. He is all black with a big white spot on his chest, but I don't think you can really see it unless he rolls over onto his back. Apparently he looks like a Newfie. You can see a little bit. I don't know, I can't see. I can't see <laughs> any of it. Um, but apparently he looks like a Newfie. The trainers really love this dog for me. I think this is their top choice for me. And he does seem like a great dog. He seems like a really good worker, really funny, really silly. And I think that's what I need. Although I don't want a dog that reminds me of Ben in how they feel. I would like to have some of the qualities I loved the most about Ben, which is how much he made me laugh, how silly and funny he was, and how much he comforted me and gave me love when I needed it the most. It was so empathetic. And I think this dog could do that for me. He just seems to be really calm. They said his nicknames are Little Bear because he looks like a little black bear and Happy Dog because he's really, really happy always wagging his tail, and when he gets excited, he stomps his feet, which is super <laughs> cute. They said he's really quirky, he has a lot of personality, but is also super stable, like a really chill worker. So he can kind of turn it on and turn it off, which is great. And I worked option E in the kennel, around the kennel, in the city, and at the mall. So just like option D, I had a lot of experience with option E. And you are okay. You have a leash on the... Oh, there it is. Oh, he is like a bear. He's like a bear, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's so cute, yeah. He's got a lovely white patch under his... On his chest? Yeah. He's leaning against me. find him a bit fast to start, but he will slow down. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know that, but Giela shines. Giela shines. Oh, you know, like real gentle. Very gentle. Yeah. He's beautiful. I can tell you're very kind. <laughs> Then have you go. Hello. Hello, I'm on the third dog of the day and every time we walk he just makes me laugh because he keeps hitting my bum with his tail. <laughs> Just so happy, <laughs> very pleased with himself. You don't have that kind of stuff, Simon Barger. No, no. He's just sitting with me. It will be the uh, first time from uh, and this is seven or right eight months uh, that he. But I already do my homework and I I read that this super ally is, is comfortable in cars. Oh in yeah, that's go, good. In bus. In, in the bus, he likes that. Yeah, hop up. That's the foster family. They, they very good they family. They say, ah, we go, uh, we travel in, in bus just one time, but it was going super super good. Ah, oh, we go in the metro one time, but it was super good. Mm -hmm. and Option 
F. We're getting there, guys. We're almost there. Option F and option G, the last two dogs I worked, were both St. Pierre's. So long-haired, black and white, both super cute. All these dogs are around two years old. Option F was a female. Option G was a male. I only worked these two at the mall. So I got to do escalators with them, both solid. Actually, I didn't do escalators with option G, only with option F. Um, so the female, option F, I did escalators. She came to Aritzia with me. I had to buy some stuff because, as you guys know from the packing video, I didn't have much and it's actually way chillier this summer than it usually is in Quebec. So I did not bring sweatpants or a sweater, which I like, or a proper sweater. I brought like one really oversized hoodie, but I needed, it didn't like, it couldn't go over most of my clothes and I didn't have any thick warm pants. So I had to quickly do a power shop with option F. She was already a great shopping buddy. I think that all the Mira trainers know that if Molly's sad, you just bring her to the mall or to a store. Like it's like, it's very funny. It's like it's all, a beautiful day. All the trainers just know me so well. They're like, Molly, would you like to go shopping? And I'm like, yes, yes I would. Yes I would. <laughs> it's funny because when I was training with Gallup and I was really sad missing Gypsy, um, the trainer took me to the shops too. <laughs> She's like, Molly, I know you're really sad about Gallup, but let's just take them and go to the shops and look around. Like, it's just so funny. Yeah, it's so funny. They all know, take Molly to, to, to the store if she's sad, <laughs> let her go shopping. And the trainers were like joking that I looked like I was doing Tai Chi because the way I feel clothes when I power shop, I like scan the racks and I feel front, back, side so that I can feel what the neckline is like, what the back is like, and what the sides are like really quickly. And so I was like doing my process and they were like, you look like you're doing Tai Chi or like meditating. And I was like, I am meditating. Shopping is my meditation. That was fun. So she was a good little shopper, decent pace. Um, I think her biggest issue is emotional. Like she's really attached to her trainer and I think she's gonna have a, a difficult transition period. All right, at the mall, there's three puppers. One I've worked with, two I haven't. And I brought plenty of Kleenex, <laughs> just in case. Prepared. Three are long haired dogs, so I'm hoping to be covered in dog fur, not tears today. <laughs> um, and then finally, option G. Uh, I just did a really quick mall walk with him. Super cute guy, but not, it just didn't feel right for me. So again, just like option A and B, it was a pretty clear no. I think the top runners are C, D, and E. <laughs> What's he look like? Yes, he's, he's got a lot of weight. next process will be kind of deciding top two and bringing them home to here in the room and picking, you know, of those two, which one I want. So I'm going to sit down and chat with the trainers more about C, D, and E and see which of those they feel would be best for me because I really respect their opinion and we will decide from there. But we're getting close. Top three, all long haired two male, one female, uh, two Labernese, one St. Pierre. Who knows, I might get my first St. Pierre, but either way, I am definitely getting my first long haired puppy, which is kind of fun. Um, it'll be an interesting change. It'll feel like a fresh start. And that's what I need more than anything right now is a fresh start. And I'm really hoping, like with every dog, a chapter of my life closes. And I'm really hoping that this dog brings some positivity into my life and starts Joy. a good chapter with positivity. And for the whole family. For the whole family, because we all need it. <laughs> so fingers crossed, but 
yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the series to see which one I end up with. And guess down below, leave a comment, just a, a letter. Which do you think I'm going to get? If you'd like to guess outside of C, D, and E, you can, but I think you'd be wrong. So I would suggest just guessing C, D, or E, but comment below, do you think I'm ending up with C, or female, D, or ginger, or E, or little bear? Thanks for coming on this journey with me. And like I said, I hope this wasn't only puppy therapy for me, but for all of you, because I know my channel has been really emotional lately, and we all need a break from it. We all need a positive distraction in our lives. There's so much going on in everybody's life and in the world right now. So take care of yourself, be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, and this too shall pass. And until next time, you can click over here to watch the final goodbye to Ben if you missed it, or you can click over here to see this same video from last year if you'd like a little reminder of the dogs I tried last time. Okay, thanks guys. Coming up in the next video. Okay, so after trialing seven dogs in a ton of different environments, we narrowed it down to top two and I already cried this morning once. Isn't even 8.30. <laughs> um, yeah, we narrowed it down to top two and I brought one to my room last night. And, you know, first night together, it went well. It's just hard, like having had my best friend in here. And then being with a stranger, it's like breaking up and immediately going on a date. <laughs>